sometimes YouTube really knows you a little bit too well. As I was searching for something to discuss this week, a video caught my eye on my YouTube feed. From what culture, 10 actors who will definitely ruin upcoming movies. Huh. Very interesting. Now, before watching this, I kind of had a feeling that most of these people on this list are a bunch of far right wingers who stormed the Capitol or something to that degree. But that's really not the case here. Actually, this list is about how some of these actors won't perform well in the role they were given. Like, can Gal Gadot play the evil queen in Snow White? Or is Chris Pratt's voice too lazy for Super Mario? It's a me, a Mario. Or has Vin Diesel taken the family mantra too far and is extremely micromanaging the set on Fast 10? Family, family, family. And of course, they list Kevin Spacey because... You know, it's Kevin Spacey. But oddly enough, Kevin Spacey wasn't listed at number one on this list. You know, considering all those allegations against him. So as the list was continuing on and we finally got to the number one spot, I was asking myself, who is worse than an alleged kid diddler? And then it clicked in my head. That's right. People with dangerous opinions. Even though this list started off strong and, you know, reasonable, I just knew there was going to be a slot in there for a celebrity who had a different opinion than the mainstream. You know, opinions dangerous like there are only two genders. Or you should be able to say what you want to say. Or how dangerous big pharmaceutical companies are. And it's that last opinion that landed Zachary Levi number one on this list of actors who will definitely ruin upcoming movies. Remember folks, kid diddlers in Hollywood are okay and should be given a second chance, but Republicans in Hollywood, huh, that's where we draw the line. Now, of course, we don't know for sure if Zachary Levi is a far right conservative. We just know he has some common sense and realizes that a multi-million dollar pharmaceutical company could be dangerous to the human population. But as this What Culture video mentions, his comments on Twitter led him to be accused of an anti-vaxxer. And with the sequel to Shazam being released in March, this has caused a big problem for the marketing team. And apparently it's become so problematic that What Culture believes it will completely ruin the film. Now, what did Zachary Levi exactly tweet that led him to be, you know, this anti-vaxxer everyone's propping him up to be. Well, there was this tweet that said, do you agree or not that Pfizer is a real danger to the world? And Zachary Levi quote tweeted it and said, hardcore agree. I mean, that right there, folks, just screams anti-vaxxer, voted for Trump 2020, build that wall, give me my guns, liberty for all. I mean, that's the kind of vibe I get with just two words and an emoji. I mean, Jesus Christ, the woke cult is out for Zachary Levi for this tweet. For your own sake, please call Mark Ruffalo and beg him to help you understand how celebrities can be outspoken critics of corporate America, Big Pharma, and even Pfizer, specifically without playing into anti-vax propaganda. They just can't stand someone in Hollywood having the cojones to speak out against the mainstream narrative. They even did the thing where they dug up old clips of his and, you know, said, oh my God, how could we have not seen he was a Republican this whole time? The clip they found was him on Joe Rogan talking about Jordan Peterson. I think one of the deepest thinkers that I've ever heard break down like human behavior uh and i don't know just an understanding of all that stuff and and i think good good wisdom along with it is jordan peterson i think that he would be a person that i would trust i think that guy has a lot of integrity now you might be also wondering hey wait isn't there another dceu actor that stirred up some controversy oh yeah yeah you're talking about ezra miller right the guy who, you know, groomed kids, allegedly. Yeah, he was he was actually on this list, but he was ranked number five. I mean, <laughs> grooming and kidnapping kids or saying Pfizer is bad. I think we can all agree 
which one will ruin a film. The mental gymnastics these people go through to actually believe that Zachary Levi's two-word tweet is somehow damaging, more damaging than Ezra Miller's actions over the past few months. I mean, it's gold medal worthy. Now, I do believe people are starting to boycott this movie, but do I honestly believe that will work? Okay, one less movie ticket to spend money on, stupid. But let's be real here for a second. Will this tweet actually, definitely ruin this film? In my opinion, it probably will increase sales. I mean, you don't understand how hungry people are to support someone with outspoken views or projects with those people. Plus having the woke cult come out and say they're boycotting something leads the other side to come in and support it. Look what happened to Hogwarts Legacy. They took a highly anticipated game to one of the best selling games of the year. So I imagine something similar will happen, but you know, I could be wrong. Maybe the film will just be average and maybe it will do worse but i don't think the sole reason of this movie's success or failure will be because of zachary levi's one tweet but of course i want to hear from you guys and what you think of zachary levi's comments will his comments lead you away from shazam or are you still buying a ticket let me know down in the comments below also if you want to see more videos like this please be sure to click on this playlist right here and if you enjoyed this video I'd appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.